Okay, to find the coefficient of x um, in this expansion, a quick way is to look at ncr a to the n minus r b to the r. Instead of expanding the whole thing, and you go 10cr x to the 10 minus r b, which is minus 2 over x squared to the r. <coughs> so that's 10cr x to the 10 minus r times minus 2 to the r over x to the 2r. So now what we need to do is we're going to collect um, the number parts together. So that's the 10CR, the minus 2 to the R, and then put X to the 10 minus R on X to the 2R. Now this part here, if I now subtract the indices, because that's division, I get 10CR minus 2 to the R, X to the 10 minus 3R. Now note that this is the um, rth plus 1 term, because the first term is the 0th term. Like this will expand and will give you t1 plus t2 plus t3 all the way up to, there won't be um, t11, no, t, so the 11th term, because there's an extra term. So if it's 10, there'll always be one more term, because that's the 0th term. Okay, so when you do this, this indice here, the 10 minus 3r, if I want to get a coefficient of x to the 1, that has to equal 1. So if you solve that, th minus 3r will equal minus 9, and r will equal positive 3. So that means that the actual term would be 10c3 minus 2 to the 3 times x to the 10 minus 3 times 3. So it's 10c3 minus 2 to the 3 x to the 1. So the coefficient is 10c3 minus 2 to the 3.